Chris, Daniela, good afternoon. That's right, Silly ISD closed last fall because of COVID-19. This year, the same story. The superintendent tells me he just wants to do what's best for students and staff and help stop the spread of COVID-19. Sealy ISD is one of the first districts in the state to close its doors in 2020. Sealy schools will remain closed for five days as COVID-19 cases rise among students and staff. Superintendent Brian Hallmark says they've recorded over 130 active cases since school returned on January 3rd. That represents about 4% of the district's 2,800 students and 400 staff members. And today we have 93 active cases in the district and about 19 of those are staff and the rest students. But on top of that, we also have close contact quarantine. Over the past two weeks, teachers have been stretched thin. We have teachers covering classes on their conference period. We have support staff that are filling in for classrooms. Alicia Burns has four children in the district and she's considering switching back to virtual learning if things don't get better. I don't want them to get sick. At nearby KDISD, the district is reporting over 2,200 active cases involving about 2% of all students and 3% of staff. SciFair ISD had to temporarily close three testing sites because they ran out of supplies. Parent Tawana Sutton says COVID is getting out of control. Oh, it's getting pretty crazy all over again. It's kind of scary. It's going around so rapidly. And Superintendent Hallmark tells me that the rapid COVID testing site they have at the school will remain open while the school is closed over the next few days. The school is going to be deeply cleaned and sanitized. But I do want to clarify one thing. The district will not be closed for five days. They will be closed for Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's the very latest reporting from Sealy ISD. I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.